popular <laughs> spirit of divination. The popular spirit of divination. I say it's popular because I see a lot of people writing on it. I see a lot of people talking about it. And I see them embellishing and adding to and putting more into it than what scripture says. And so we're going to read the scripture in Acts chapter 16 and verse 16 through 18. And we're just going to say what scripture says. We're not going to add anything or subtract anything because you need to understand what the spirit of divination is and why you need to be aware of it and notice when it is working around you and people or working around you to influence you. Because it, remember, a believer cannot be indwelt by this spirit, but a believer can be influenced by it. So Acts chapter 16 and verse 16. Now it had happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling, fortune telling of this girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, these men are the servants of the most high God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days, but Paul greatly annoyed turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus, come out of her. And he came out that very hour. Listen, the spirit of divination is a spirit of false prophecy, false prophecy. This word divination is translated in the Greek Python. Python was the protector of a prophetess or a false prophet, a false deity, right? And so divination is false prophecy. Now, what makes prophecy false? What makes it false? Well, let me share this with you because a lot of people don't know what makes prophecy false. Uh, they think that if it doesn't come true, then that's false prophecy. But here's the scary part about false prophecy. Uh, false prophecy is not determined by if it is true or not. False prophecy is determined by who they direct you as the source of divine information. Here's what Deuteronomy chapter 13 says. It says um, that if there arises among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or wonder comes to pass, of what he spoke to you saying, let us go after other gods, which you have not known and let us serve them. You shall not listen to the words of the prophet or the dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Watch this. False prophecy is to lead you away from God to follow your own way, to follow your own direction. As a matter of fact, false prophets usually are accurate and true. They're usually speaking the truth. But he said, that's not what determines if they're false. That doesn't determine if you uh, should run away from them and not listen to them. He's telling you not to listen to someone who just told you accurate truth. He said, if it comes to pass, but yet they want you to serve other gods, then don't listen to them. He's not saying if it doesn't come to pass. And this little girl in Acts chapter 16, obviously was speaking the truth. And you know how I know she's speaking the truth? Because she said accurately that these men are servants of the most high. So here's why you have to be careful of the spirit of divination. The spirit of divination is a way to get information about your life, about your future, without being submitted to God's will, without trusting in God's sovereignty, without reverencing God's authority. It is a way to go around God and get information without relationship with God. And that's what was happening in this city. That's what was happening in this town. And that's what the spirit of divination is about. It's about circumventing the relationship with God and finding another way to get information. So let's recap. Let's recap. Uh, number four is the spirit of fear. Second Timothy chapter one and verse seven. Uh, number five is the spirit of error. First John chapter four and verse six. And number six is the spirit of divination. Acts chapter 16, verses 16 through 18. Study these scriptures. Study to show yourself approved. I'll be coming back with another video 
with another set of three. There's four of these videos. This is the second one. Check out the first one. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.